The rod puppet approach was chosen for the production rather than stop motion animation, which did not provide the required smoothness. As a result, the rod puppet allowed for a fast alien that could move across surfaces in a variety of angles. Lane Lisker was hired to lead a team of puppeteers in a new process dubbed Mo Motion. The puppet was operated by four to six people. To make syncing the puppet's actions with the live action shots easier, the effects team developed an instant compositing system using Laserdisc. This made it easier to see what they recorded matched the background plates and if any adjustments needed to be made. At the time I thought many of the effects looked a bit rubbish. They don't blend well at all with the live action elements and only a few shots of the alien running actually look good. I can fully sympathise with the effects team in their difficulty to visualise and bring to life the alien and making it run or do things with traditional optical processing and models, so I applaud them for their efforts, but they were handicapped by the technology of the time. 